virtual device context we saw introduction earlier now when you when you have a nexus 7000 series you can create multiple logical devices but there's a limitation in number of logical device that you can create depending on the license the limitation varies if you don't have license at all we cannot have any VDC or if you make the default VDC which is available by default uh, with the system itself as an admin VDC which will be used only for administration cannot be shared with any department cannot be given to any department it will be only for administration purpose so you cannot consider that as one separate logical device that's only for management from which you can create multiple VDCs allocate resource to multiple VDCs so this admin VDC is only for management so usable VDC you can only create one if you don't have a license which is also called as non-default VDC so when you want to have VDC you got only one device without license when you don't uh, think about VDC then also you have only one device so only by purchasing license you can have additional VDCs additional devices so licensing is mandatory now if you are uh, having a very old supervisor module which is module 1 you can have three non default VDC and a default VDC so totally you can have four VDCs or four non default VDC and one admin VDC that is what you know when you make admin VDC and default VDC same then you can have four non default VDC but if you say no 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 I want to have I don't want to have any admin VDC I just want to have a separate default VDC which is the base system then you may have only three non default VDC so in short if I need to say you will have only maximum of four VDCs including admin VDC four non-default VDC and one admin sorry five VDCs four plus one five you can use advanced service package license that's the name of the license you can use the advanced service package license and VDC license interchangeably on the supervisor module if VDC 1 is a default VDC meaning it is not an admin VDC it's a default VDC you can create up to three non default VDC on supervisor 1 but if your VDC 1 is an admin VDC then you can create up to four non default VDC is it clear any confusion in this? Yeah, I have one confusion. Yeah, please ask. How, um, for example, for example, in uh, one access we don't have by default only one VDC, right? Yeah, by default there is a VDC called default VDC. Yes. And uh, if you want to make that VDC as admin, we, we can make that VDC admin yeah. VDC. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can. You, you need to create by typing via admin VDC VDC there's a command actually okay. to create uh, admin VDC as soon as you create that admin VDC that admin VDC will take the VDC ID 1 which was earlier given to default VDC now when you switch that uh, number from the default VDC to admin VDC there is no more default VDC exist. 
Oh. There is no more VDC. Uh, okay, let me finish the story, then I'll come and tell you more detail. Now, when you okay. change the default VDC, when you create an admin VDC, let me put it in a short way, easy way to understand. When you create an admin VDC, VDC ID number 1 will be given, which was earlier given to default VDC. Now the default VDC is no more because the ID has been taken out okay. and assigned to admin VDC. So now if that is the case, you can now create usable which is also called as non-default VDC up to 4. No. Now I am coming back to the old story. If you are not willing to create an admin VDC, what does that mean? You mean that that VDC1 will be default, correct? Okay. And now plus 3 more you can have. Plus okay. 3 more VDC. 3 non VDC plus default VDC. Now how many total? 3 plus 1 is 4. Here also you will have only 4. Why? This admin VDC cannot be used for any department cannot be given to anyone. It is only for administration. This default VDC can be used for a department. You understand? If we uh, default VDC... Default VDC, default VDC no. can be... No. Can, be used? can be used for packet flow, okay. for traffic flow, for uh, uh, as, a, as a routing device or uh, as a as a transit device. But admin VDC cannot be used for transit traffic. Will be only for administration. So okay. but at least one admin VDC we needed to create another VDC, right? A default VDC will also allow you to create VDCs. Ah okay. So totally how many VDC IDs you have? Only four. Totally you have only four. If you are using default VDC, one will be consumed by default VDC. So you are allowed to only create three IDs, three VDCs. Oh. But when you make a default VDC as an admin VDC, you got now four IDs left where you can create four VDCs, four virtual device. Because the admin VDC is not a virtual device, a logical device. It is not a logical switch. It cannot be used no. for packet forwarding. It is only for management. Makes sense, no? Okay. So default VDC also can be used to create another VDC. Ah, a default VDC can create multiple VDCs, and it can also be used as a logical access device. But. Admin VDC will allow only to create and manage. It cannot be used as a logical or virtual Nexus device. That's the okay. difference. So, in short, whether you are making admin VDC or not, in Supervisor 1 module, when we have this license, Advanced Service Pack license, we will be able to only have four VDCs in total. Let's go next. When we have Supervisor 2 module, you will have four non-default VDC and one ad admin VDC. It's the same story what you saw in the previous one, option B. Previous one, option B, was allowing you to create how many non-default, four non-default yeah, yeah. and one admin. The difference is in Supervisor 1, you can convert that no, uh, the, the default into admin. You can convert the default into admin. Whereas yeah. in Supervisor 2 and in Supervisor 2E, there is no concept called default VDC. Yeah. There is no concept called default VDC. You will be landed in a admin VDC. 
see there is a command called mode multiple what is that mode multiple as soon as you put this command mode multiple the switch needs a restart why earlier it was a single physical nexus device because you said mode multiple you are asking nexus to support vdc when it reboots after you type mode multiple when it reboots it will land up in admin vdc only the prompt that you will see is what called as admin vdc oh so there is no default vdc now let's read you can use the advanced service same license module 2 you can create up to four non default vdc and one admin vdc or supervisor two modules if vdc one is default vdc you can create they're just simply saying that in case if you have a default vdc there won't be default vdc actually so supervisor two there is no story of default vdc they are simply saying if class but you see there are the beginning lines you can create the four non default vdc in one admin vdc on supervisor two module next if you are having two e which most of the today's uh, nexus will have 7000 will have two e you can have eight non default vdc and one admin vdc you can have up to two vdc licensed as supervisor uh, sir you can use up to up to two vdc licenses so you can have two licenses on 2e each count of vdc of four so if i put two license how many will get 4 plus 4 is 8 make sense no yeah. in supervisor 2 and supervisor 1 only one license is allowed and maximum you can have is two sorry maximum you can have is four vdcs but 2e supports to e supports up to four up to two licenses as a result we can have eight vdcs two licenses each count of vdc license covers four vdc you can create up to eight non default vdc and one admin vdc if vdc one uh, this is again you know, old story so next for a complete explanation <laughs> okay anyway did you understand the story yes yes pre request for creating vdcs vdcs are the following configuration and guidelines and limitations standard vdc cannot share interfaces vlans virtual routing and forwarding vrf or a port channel only user with a network admin role can create vdc cs yes, this is what we we need to learn there are two roles admin role and um <coughs> supervisor role no, no admin role admin operator roles operator role um, a user with the operator role will be only allowed to do supervision see here it is network operator role only an admin role person will be allowed to create vdc The following guidelines and the limitations apply for switch switch to VDC. What is switch to? You know, jumping between VDCs. <coughs> Only user with the network admin and network operator role can use switch to VDC command. You know what it means. We have four roles actually. 
So before learning this paragraph, we should know the rules. Only then it will be clear. If it is not in this document, I will teach you and then I will use this document. No, it's not in this document. I don't think so. User roles. It's not in this document. So I'm going to explain you with a notepad, um, with a paint. You see, there are four roles actually. Number one is network. Network admin. And then network um, operator and then VDC admin VDC operator you know what If a user, let's say there is a user called standard chatted, standard chatted, standard chatted admin, there is another user called standard chatted supervisor next there is a user called anish cloud admin there is another user called anish cloud operator now you see, as a cloud company, you are creating 8 VDC out of 1 access box and one of the VDC are given to whom? Standard Chatted Bank. Are you there? Yes. Okay. You are given to Standard Chatted Bank. Now when the Standard Chatted Bank logs in, they will have access only to this portion of the physical this is the physical device this is one of the VDC called standard chatted now from standard chatted bank when admin logs in he will be able to provide IP address to the interface he can uh, uh, enable a routing protocol, he can delete some configuration, he can do anything that he wants to do within that limit. But as a supervisor of that standard chatter, he will not be allowed to configure anything. He will be able to only put some show commands. Does it um, easy for you to understand? Did you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Will the standard chatter have got anything to do with this another partition called uh, HSBC? No. 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 So HSBC admin will have scope within this green. HSBC supervisor will have scope within this green. But this Anish cloud admin, you know, he can do anything with this hardware. He can use a command called switch to SC, switch to HSBC, switch to anything that he wants, switch to CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria, switch to Central Bank of Switzerland. He, he has got the power to jump between that is what here it is mentioned look at this paragraph up up uh, 
And this user, what kind of user is there? Like, uh, we can create any name. name. Allowing to him to log into their own, own switches on VDC. What is that you are saying? This admin, admin, uh, Anish called admin. Hmm. Uh, this Anish can log in, can switch to any VDC. Any VDC. Because so he is the, 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 the one who is having the switches or? He is the one who has the switch. He is the cloud manager. He is a cloud company. Oh. He is the owner of the Nexus switch. These people and all temporary. Today they pay subscription. They are using our resource. Tomorrow they will disconnect from us and they will go. And this will be provided to someone else. The VDC will be provided to some other company. They are simply users. Anish Cloud Company is the company which provides service to the users. Like Standard okay. Chattered, Central Bank of Nigeria, Central Bank of Swiss, HSBC. So, now, as a owner, he should have control over. So, if if an employee works as an admin for Anish Cloud, he will be able to create VDCs, he will be able to use, now going back to this point, he will be able to use the command switch to. See, only the network admin, network, not VDC. Only those users that have got network admin or network operator. Operator, also. even operator. They uh, yeah, because he's the owner of the Danish company, no? Sir, he is a member of Danish company, no? He should be able to oh. supervise, no? Oh, okay. He will not be allowed to configure, but he will be supervising what that admin has done. Oh. As an operator, he will have rights to supervise. Yeah. So, both can go to any VDC by using this command. Now, no user can grant permission to another role to use switch to VDC. So, uh, no user can grant permission to per permission to another role, another role to use switch to command. So, only an admin VDC guy can do that simply cannot do someone cannot go and make a VDC admin to a network admin not possible roles cannot be changed who can decide the role only a network admin can do that after a network admin uses the switch VDC command the user becomes a VDC admin yeah this is what I was telling you look at this there is a person called Anish cloud admin he can switch between all VDCs I told you and you asked me a question will he be allowed to configure the standard chatted I said yes will he be allowed to configure HDF, HSBC bank VDC yes I said yes and I also gave you a reason because he's the owner of that cloud he belonged to the cloud so what uh, for what really happens is when Anish Cloud Admin logs into Standard Chattered VDC, he becomes VDC Admin so that he has got complete control over the VDC. You understand? When he is when he is inside VDC, he is a VDC Admin. When he is out of non-default VDC, he is a Anish Cloud Network Admin. Yes, so that is what if he is in an admin VDC he is a network admin if he is in a non-default VDC then he becomes what VDC admin see he becomes what VDC admin who the network admin will become a VDC admin so I want to ask you a question what will a network operator will become Uh, network operator will become VDC operator. Right? Ah, exactly. When he is in an admin VDC, he will be a network operator. When he yeah. switches to a VDC, he will become a VDC operator. Yeah. 
BBC operator cannot uh, not do anything, right? Nothing. Nothing. Anish yes, Cloud. Yes, only thing. Yeah, Anish Cloud operator can be an operator for all VDCs. But okay. he cannot be a admin for any VDC. He can he can be only an operator for all VDC. If he is uh, if he is supervising the cloud Anish, he can also supervise the cloud non default. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now after a network admin and network or a network operator uses a switch to VDC, the user cannot use this command to switch to another VDC. Okay. See, very nice point. You are in this point, admin VDC. When you log into this Central Bank of Swiss, from Central Bank of Swiss, you cannot use that switch to command to go to Central Bank of Nigeria. Not possible. What you have to do is, you need to use the command switch back and you need to come here. And then, from there only you need to switch to CBN. You understand? Yeah. You cannot jump from one non-default VDC to another even though you are an admin of Anish Cloud even though you are a, you are an admin of Anish Cloud you cannot do that In, for recording you know VDCs when we have multiple VDCs we cannot switch from one non-default VDC to another non-default VDC we have to come back to the admin VDC Say for example, if this is an admin VDC, I use the command switch to Central Bank of Swiss and I go inside Central Bank of Swiss. Now, if I want to go to Central Bank of Nigeria, I need to switch back. So I use the switch back command to come back to this admin VDC and then use again the switch to command, switch to CBN so that I can go into CBN. Um, VDC. Likewise, if I want to go to standard chatted, which is here, I need to type switch back to come to the admin VDC and then I type again switch to SC so that I'll come to standard chatted. This is how we can uh, we can jump between VDC as a network operator or network admin. Can a VDC operator jump between another v uh, jump to another VDC? No way. A VDC admin or a VDC operator has got no rights to jump to, to jump to another, another VDC. So if they try to do also, there won't be commands available for them. There won't be any command called switch to in a non-default VDC. In a non-default VDC, you will not have a command called switch to. You will have only one command which is switch back. You will have only switch back command. You will not have a switch to command. Switch to command is available only in admin VDC. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, there are some different operating system. If it is Cisco Nexus release 6.2.2, uh, introduced a separate uh, F2E series VDC type which must be entered to enable F2E series support. In uh, Nexus 6.1 the F2 VDC type supports both F2 and F2E series. Forget about these things, they're all very old stories. The, those are all the names of the module, mo modules, li line cards. If it is needed, you come and refer this document if you are deploying VDC. VDC cannot be uh, done in a lab environment because it's, it needs one big physical device. Um, so once in a lifetime you will do it in a data center. After that it will be simply used by the users. We cannot keep, this is not a lab like creating VLAN, deleting VLAN. 
<laughs> creating switch and giving to someone and when that someone starts using that's all there is nothing more to do there so when you create VDC if you need you may come and refer this now what are the other important things that we need to no I think these things we have spoken can have a reading later mm. All right, to create a VDC, you must create VDC before you can use it. VDC creation takes few minutes to complete. Use the show VDC command to verify the login to a default VDC or admin VDC as a network administrator. Choose a, uh, choose a VDC resource template if you want to use resource limit. Yeah, I told you you can, you can allocate resource uh, for different VDCs this is the command to create VDC and then VDC name <coughs> this is also something called high availability I do not want to get into that now those are all very deep dive of uh, VDCs if you have more than uh, two nexus for high availability you can say if one supervisor module goes down what should i do should i bring down this vdc should i restart that vdc that is only when you have two supervisor modules redundantly so if you want to allocate the interfaces this is how you allocate interface to a vdc okay Uh, verification command show VDCs and then to switch into VDC this is the command switch to VDC and VDC name you can use this command show VDC current VDC it will show you the current VDC name all right some show comments I think these are all the necessary things you see an example here we create a VDC called test VDC and we assign an interface called Ethernet 2.0 and when I type uh, when I switch to VDC test it will take me to the VDC it will ask me to create a management interface IP address these are all initial setup pages you can skip this actually by typing no uh, here we do not the VDC is the only in Cisco right? yeah it's only in Cisco Nexus 7000 not even 5000 only Nexus 7000 no other nexus okay. no, no, in nine, nine no, no 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 all right you can res limit the resource like this so what i will recommend is enough of vdc uh, fundamentals you have learned only if it is needed when you are deploying vdc you just open this document you will have uh, all those uh, necessary support that you want in that time all right uh, now even if we see more deep dive it won't be useful okay mm -hmm. so I've shared the link with you already uh, you may have a look into that uh, later